Welcome to my channel, Sonica's Daily Vlog, and it has not been daily, but I'm really actually sorry that I haven't posted in a while, and I'm really sorry. But today I am really excited to talk about um stick insects. Yes, we have real ones here, and if you don't know what stick six stick insects are, they are just insects that camouflage and look like sticks and you're probably wondering why are we doing stick and sticks well at school i am like a carer for stick those stick and sticks because we have two at, at in our school in our classroom yeah and because we have three um class pets Two sticking texts that we are, uh, I'm gonna to show today, real. Um, fish, that maybe I won't because they're at my teacher's house. Four died, there were five and four died, sadly. There are crickets, and if someone's doing a joke and it's not funny, the crickets are there to crack. As a sticking tech parent, um, the, we have responsibilities, and one of them, is to keep them uh, the stick insects alive um and to keep them alive we need to put a food source for them and may that could the mainly food source is eucalyptus and gum tree leaves um to to um and there's one more problem um we have to keep them to um stay long fresh moist and yeah to keep them alive so that's why um we put them in a jar with water and in two each two days we have to refill it um because if we don't um the water is gonna get murky yellow and it's gonna affect the leaves and going to make them old and wrinkly and not fresh that's what not what we want um um so we have to spray them in the morning and in the night each day and there's some more there's some more super news okay be excited because we have real stick insect eggs today here they are and yeah. so um if they we had like put the stick insects outside in a native thing um the one egg would fall to the ground maybe a lot and um the ants would um reckon it would be um a seed and so they um put like they get it to the nest and one thing or uh, more um the tip of this seed um, is fat, that fat, and um, it attracts the ant and wants to encourage to get that um, maybe like egg um, to its ant hole and keep it there from away from predators. Um, but the ants don't know that, and maybe and when. And these little guys hatch um they don't go to orange that quick they just go to reddish blackish and they climb a branch um eat some leaves and um swing in the air like a leaf to keep fend off away predators and camouflage yeah. we have more big news yes you thought it was over, but no, it's not over. More big news coming right at you. There is real stick insects. I'm gonna show you, yes. Um, so let's take a close look, yeah. Let's take a close look. I'm here with my stick insects, and yes, we have two stick insects. Two, both of them are female, and this one right here, yeah. Um, it's pinecone. Her, that's pinecone, and you can't see her maybe. Um, she's back here, 
Um, her name's Hazelnut. And we have this special kind of um net thing. Um, because um if like at school we don't have this net thing. We just leave them because they need a little more air, but when we we have to put this here because it's a new environment and they could escape off and go and get smashed on them maybe. Um so this um has some clear so we can see them more clearly. We can see them from this net. It is breathable, um, but this is more clearer. And we have this handles, easy, easy to carry. Um, and we have this zipper that's really easy to zip um, to like maybe get a, put a spray or um, change the water, change the leaves, um, yeah, spray and collect the poop with the tissue and collect the eggs, yeah. That's, that's mo mostly that. And so let's take a closer look. And I'm going to get out Pinecone. And she's a little bit fussy. And she's been a little tired this week. Come on. Come on. This might take a while. And he's not coming for some reason. Mm, a little less fussy. Um, they have like little clingers, so it's really good to cling. I can't can't get her right, but yeah, she's really miss fussy, fussy little miss fussy, something like that. Am I good on her? No, but I have not caught her. Yep, I've got a, I've got a. Wait, 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 yeah. Leg, leg. Yeah, here, here she is. Oh, oh. Here she is. Here's Pineco. This is Pineco. She's a little bit new to this. A little bit new because this is her first time doing this and yeah, it's a little scary for her. There, there she is. Say hi. Say hi, Pinecorn. She's a little fussy. And so these are her clingers. Clingers. See, sharp. It's really sharp. She'll, so she'll cling it and she has a big tail. Right there, six legs, antennae, um, eyes that I can't touch, and only females, I think females, um, have wings. Wings, yeah, wings. And these, these guys are really spiky, as you can see, like that. See, see, um, on their arms, they're spiky, and their scientific name is big, and yeah. So, I hope you love this video and I hope those if you're new to this um I hope you've learned a lot of more information and yeah and I hope you if you encounter a stick insect you will learn a lot from this and yeah share like and ring that bell like a dinner bell and say bye bye say bye Pico. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.